hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to create monetary field and in case you missed previous discussion about how to create a binary field please check link is given in the description if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblands channel under the home screen you can see odoo 17 development tutorial is here and right now we are working on the field development tutorial and by the way this is the main Odoo 17 development tutorial all the topics available in this tutorial and topic wise you can see here the playlist available if you want to learn older version you can see Odoo development and once you click view all you can see all the topics available with the real test cases all right so let's back to our main topic like how to create a monetary field before that in case you guys didn't subscribe this channel please subscribe it will motivate me and it will help me a lot all right so let's say what is monetary field right so let's say if i'm going to in the sales order i'm just trying to give you the basic idea what is monetary field so you can see here the amount is the total amount is display here right if you notice here you can see here with the currency icon right let's say if you are dealing with the the currencies actually right the fees the amount like whatsoever you called uh, specifically for the billing purpose so in this case the monetary field come to the picture so this is a combination of the float field and the currency field okay here i'm giving you a small demo how you can add multiple currency and how you can also add monetary field something like this see this is called as a monetary field because this is a combination of float field and the currency field right you can see here the currency and the amount right in a float field so yes so for that you have to go to in our models like this and here let's say amount fields monetary right i will do something like this but it won't be work okay so let's let's do the same thing here uh, in this case like let's say i will add here as a field name equal to amount and same field i will try to add here okay now let's say i'm trying to upgrade the module from this pycharm terminal minus u and module name in case you don't know how to configure odoo in pycharm please check editor level playlist i already explained once i will start so it will automatically upgrade the module but you can see here assertion and error field wb.school amount with unknown currency underscore field and the none if you find such error for your model model right so this is the model so that means the currency field is missing now uh, before this one like i'm using here currency underscore id fields dot and with so here you can see settings all right so i think it's not working at the moment but let me do one thing let me comment it out restart the service let me refresh the screen settings currency you can see here united arab emirates dirham indian rupee and united state dollars these three currencies activated you can see here active and rest uh, you can see let's say 165 currencies already disabled at the moment you can see all the currencies is available the the thing is we have to first define in the school profile here as a currency as a mini to one okay so for that we have to use here res dot currency so this is the model name
and this field we have to display okay but now i'm going to upgrade the module now you can see it will work smoothly without any error here i have added one mistake you can see here i have added as a monetary instead of many to one okay yeah so that is my bad now you can see it's working fine let me minimize like this and refresh the screen here you can see currency and amount both are available here uh, let's say 5000 right now you can see here three currencies is available right now the good part is you can see here without selection the currency you cannot see here any symbol right but let's see if i will add here ad it will automatically use the ad symbol right see the difference so this is called monetary field i hope you understood in a and previously also as i told you uh, we have to use two fields one field is the float field and another is the currency field the many to one field okay many to one field this currency underscore id is not available in the specific model and if you are using the monetary field it won't be work you will get the error right now uh, you can see something like this right and let's say once you go to the list view you can see here the dollar symbol is also available currency dollar right if i will add inri inr you can see the rupee symbol is also available here right now the thing is you don't need to mention here this field in the tree view once you upgrade the module and once you refresh the screen you noticed we are using currency underscore id field still the 5000 before the rupee sign is not displayed right so why it is there because whenever you assign that particular amount i mean the monetary field over there you must have to define the currency underscore id field okay so here i am trying to add currency field but it's invisible stat now i am trying to upgrade the module by the way i am giving you a scenario so make sure you don't need to forget if you forgot then definitely you will get the issue uh, you can see still the currency field is available here and obviously in a form view we have to display because if you are working with the multi company right then you have to decide like you know which currency you want to do transaction so for that you can do similar like this okay i hope you understood about this concept right now uh, there is a, another scenario is there you are not using currency underscore id right but you are using another field name for the res dot currency model let's say my currency id something like this right my currency id now I am trying to upgrade the module. If you notice here, it will get the error. Again, the same error, Assert, assertion error, field, uh, the amount, unknown currency field. Still, we already define here the my currency ID, but it's again not recognizing this field. So, here the question is why it is happening. So, what is happening here, right? So the thing is, let me minimize here, Odoo supports by default currency underscore id. In a model, if you are using the monetary field, okay, and here currency underscore id as a name is not found in, as a field name for the currency 
model so it will automatically throws the exception because the model this field is no don't know which currency i have to which currency field i have to use so for that we have to use one more attribute which is currency underscore field and in a bracket we have to mention i you have to use monetary the currency field is this field name except currency id so why i'm giving you the second scenario is let's say in some cases you don't want to use currency underscore id by chance you forgot and you updated some uh, you added a new field name which is not currency underscore id so in this case odoo automatically throws the exception and you will confuse why it is showing something like this right so this is the second scenario here you don't need to man if you don't want to mention something like this field name then you have to use currency underscore field attribute and you have to mention that particular currency field name here and after it will work fine and now let me copy this one let me add here so we don't have any error so let me refresh the screen and now you can see my currency and once i will add like this you see it's working fine but yes another case is if you didn't select the currency right then you cannot have that symbol the currency symbol so this is the main purpose of the monetary field here let's say the string attribute right you can override so let's say i'm using here string we have to just restart the service and automatically it will update this label name see label name after it should be mandatory then we have to use required equal to one so required is the attribute so let's say here it's not required and I'm trying to save the record you can see my currency field is mandatory after let's say read only so that means it's this field is read only so let's say once I will refresh the screen, I cannot change this selection box, right? So this is the purpose of the read only. Here, we can also use help. Please select the currency. And I will refresh the, restart the service. Now you can see I have activated here developer mode due to that you can see this question mark symbol right like this. Let me disable. So now here you can see this symbol is there but you can see in these fields you cannot see the question mark right and once you hover you can see that message it will automatically pass here as a tooltip. Okay. Another is default. So currency field by default it will recognize by the ID, the database ID. Right? You can see the ID is 127. For INR it's a 19. And USD for the 1. Right? So let's say I'm using here 19. I'm going to restart the service and ref ref refresh the screen. Here, once I click to new, by default, you can see INR automatically select. Why? Due to this default attribute. Now you can see it will automatically update as a USD. All right. So yeah, for the two is the 
VEF, right? Venezuela countries currency, right? So here, let's say if I'm going to, sorry, uh, I have to restart the service. Uh, let's say refresh the screen. Now you can see it will automatically change into USD, right? So this is the purpose of the default. Now let's do the same thing in the front end side. So here it's uh, invisible equal to one. So that means once you upgrade the module and refresh the screen, so this field automatically hide in the form view. You cannot see, right? After that, the read only you can also use here. Sorry, the required. See, like this. After let's say read only. Here you can see, I cannot change this symbol. Sorry, the US teach currency, right? And here, placeholder. So once I will remove, you can see here, it will display here the message. It's also display the same message here. This is called as a tooltip. And this is simple called as a placeholder, right? So this is the main purpose of the monetary field. I hope you understood about how to create a monetary field, how to also use the currency underscore field in case you are you having a different currency field name instead of currency ID, you have a different name, you have to mention here otherwise it will have an error message while upgrade the module or install the module okay that's it for this session if you have any query regarding this monetary field please comment below and see you in our next session our next session would be how to create an image field okay and what is difference between image field and the binary field we will see in our next discussion all right see you there